just come my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a come in my way For today's grim adventure, I'm doing something I never thought in a million years I'd ever get to do. And quite honestly, I find myself saying that a lot ever since I started this YouTube adventure, but today is extra special. You see, I'm spending $1,500 on a book. Not an old book, not a rare book. Well, technically, there's only 1,000 copies of these made and it came out this year in the year 2023. So my question to you is this, would you spend $1,500 on a book? Maybe after today, you would. When it comes to creating videos for the Grim Life Collective, I pull a lot of inspiration from street art and wall murals. And I don't know, just something about it, the creativity kind of gets my mind working. And I saw this giant mural dedicated to horror icons the other day and I was like wait a second this lines up perfectly for something I've been wanting to do for quite some time I just haven't pulled the trigger or made the jump if you will and that brings us back to the question at hand would you spend fifteen hundred dollars on a book especially if it's about horror, maybe your favorite horror movie, everything you've ever wanted to know, all in one place, $1,500. Well, there's a book of The Shining that came out, and it's $1,500. And in order to order it from the website, shipping from overseas, from England to the United States, shipping, it's a 50-pound box. And I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. As much as I love The Shining, I just couldn't do it. And then I saw this wall mural and it inspired me. But just a heads up, nowhere near Hollywood. And I'm sure you can actually find the address to this place and come out here and visit yourself. But I'm not going to post the address because I don't want this getting ruined. If you can find it, come out here and get pictures, especially with Jack Nicholson as Jack Torrance from The Shining. It was that picture right there that made me go, you know what? Technically, I'm going to call it an, an extension to my birthday. And what I mean by that, it being an extension to my birthday, the time of recording this, it is August 2nd. My birthday was on July 12th. And for my birthday, Jessica and I went up to a place known as the Awani Hotel in Yosemite National Park. If you haven't seen that video, you need to. The link is in the description below. So this is kind of, I'm 44 years old. And this has kind of become a shining birthday, making nightmares come true. So went to the Overlook Hotel, the real Overlook Hotel, watch the video to see what I mean. And then I decided to make the jump and buy this book. But I'm not gonna spend shipping on a 50 pound item from overseas. So I found it here in LA. On July 12th, my actual birthday, I took Jessica to the Academy Awards Museum in Los Angeles because I wanted to show her some dark crystal props and costumes that they had on display. And it was there afterwards in the gift shop, I saw that they had this shining box, this giant 50 pound yellow box, which means I could buy it there without paying shipping. It's genius, right? It's brand spanking new. Don't have to wait for it in the mail. I always hate buying things in the mail. You spend so much money on shipping, let alone the price of the item, and then you hope, you hope that it gets there all in one piece. Nobody steals it or it's damaged in any way, shape, or form. So I can actually buy it and have it in hand and go home and show you guys the video. And that is what we're doing today. See, I took the long way around. Now, before we head back to Hollywood, I do want to call out a few different friends. Hopefully, they're going to watch this. I'm going to tag them in the video. But i got Killer Clowns from Outer Space, John Massari, the Kyoto Brothers, everybody involved with that movie, Art the Clown, David Howard Thornton, Damian Leone, Linda Blair, Eileen Dietz from The Exorcist, 
We have the Crypt Keeper himself. Man, I wish I could laugh like him. It would be perfect for this video. But John is an amazing guy. We've done a few different conventions with him. I've already showed the classic Universal Monsters, but some of my favorite. And how fitting is there a sunflower right in front of Frankenstein's monster? Big shout out to the Lugosi family, the Karloffs, the Cheneys. We even have Skarsgård's Pennywise. Friday the 13th, all the different people who played Jason over the years that we've met, as well as John Carpenter's They Live. I saw somebody leave a comment on somebody's picture that Freddy Krueger wasn't on here. There he is right there, good old Robert England. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's fun. Evil Dead is up there. Patrick Bateman. American Psycho. Then right over here, once we get across these flowers, Doug Bradley. Huh. The town that dreaded sundown, saw, puppet master, child's play. And then right over here, underneath the weeds, got Pazuzu herself, Eileen Dietz. And of course, this wouldn't be complete without Stephen King's It. Pennywise the Clown portrayed by Tim Curry. It's, it's kind of fitting that he's down there, like he's looking out from the sewer. Want a balloon? We all float down here, Georgie. We now find ourselves outside of the Academy Awards Museum. And I, I love these little lampposts. And look who we have here. Why, oh, hello, baby ghoul. Like I said, the last time Jessica and I came here for the dark crystal stuff, they had a few giant yellow shining boxes on the wall and I almost lost my mind, lost my gourd. So we are here, hopefully they still have them. I think last time they had three or four. What does Tony say? Do it. <laughs> All right, inside we go. When it comes to museums here in Los Angeles, this has to be our favorite one, the Academy Museum. It got so many different screen use props, you can lose yourself for hours. And the fact that we're here to buy this book just makes me happy. It is really weird being here and not actually going into the museum. Instead, we're heading over to the store. Maybe I'm losing my gourd. This is like the best birthday ever, the shining birthday, the shining years. So here's the box right here. Now this is the display number, 000. And of course, we ask them for certain numbers. And if they don't have that, then, well, the lowest number they have because they only made a thousand of these. It's beautiful, right? It's heavy, 50 pounds. While we are waiting for them to bring down the book, let's go ahead and explore the gift shop here. I don't think we showed it the last time we did a video. It's a beautiful place. There's all kinds of good treasures here. So here we go. Our box number is 461. And I'm so excited. So stupidly excited. We come to this museum as often as we possibly can. And I'm telling you what, this makes me happy not having to order this online. So it's like $1,500 plus tax, it's like 1,600 some bucks. We're gonna take it home, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna show you guys, give you a whole tour of it. And then you, if you're here in LA, you wanna come here, you can buy it at the Academy Museum. Yeah, right? What does Tony say? Our book now. <laughs> When it comes to the Grim Life Collective and what's inside the actual collective, this is probably 
one of the most expensive and the rarest pieces. I mean, after all, they only made a thousand of these shining books. But before we dig into this box, I want to share with you two other things that are part of the collective, if you will. The first one being this. What you're looking at right now is a picture of Lloyd the bartender, played by Joe Turkel. He died a couple years ago, but this has been hanging on our walls for quite some time. And then, if you are familiar with the Grim Life Collective and an interview we did a couple months ago, we actually sat down with Shelley Duvall, who played Wendy Torrance in The Shining. And this has been hanging on our walls as well. Which means, this box, this $1,500 box, box number 461, is going to be laid to rest right between them. And it is filled with all kinds of goodies. And we're going to take a look at it right now. We haven't even opened the box yet itself. And I'm just in awe of the packaging. Here's the front of the box right here with the manuscript. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And I love how they have The Shining written right there. Man, this is beautiful. Here's a look at the back of the box with everything in it. And it says a comprehensive look at the making of Stanley Kubrick's masterpiece of modern horror in three volumes. So technically it's not $1,500 for a book. It's $1,500 for a, a comprehensive look, if you will, featuring hundreds of never before seen images, rare production, ephirma, and extensive new interviews with the cast and crew. Supposedly this took like 12 years, 12 plus years to, to get everything in one spot. Very happy to own this. Again, like I said, and here's proof, box number 461, and there's a quote over here by Steven Spielberg. You must read this book and then watch The Shining again in the second you put the book down. And I don't care if you have seen it 50 times, you'll never see it the same way again. It's going to change everything. I have no doubt anybody who's watching this is going to say, wait a second, you should be wearing white gloves or some sort of museum gloves while you're opening this box. We're just having fun. Go ahead and open it, baby girl. Let's take a look on the inside here. Oh, man, right? So right here, it says, Rinsler, Kubrick, and Unkrich. Basically, as far as I know, this box was pretty much made possible by Lee Unkrich. You know him from, uh, he was the director of Coco. And uh, he is a massive Shining fan. Design and art direction by M.M. Paris. This is copy number 461. Let me go ahead and back up here. Of the limited edition of 1,000 copies plus 200 artist proof of Stanley Kubrick's The Shining by J.W. Rinsler and Lee Unkrich. And Tashin is the people who put this out. Now, if I back up here and look down at this, I love that the very first thing that you see is a scrapbook. Go ahead and remove that baby girl. Yeah, see it slides out just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and set this aside for right now. Oh man, I'm gonna one hand, that's, that's the bulk of the, the, the 50 pounds there. So it all comes to apart like some sort of puzzle. So this one here, Oh, that's neat. It has like the, the logo, the Shining logo right there. You guys can see it. It's kind of like embossed a little bit. And Rinsler Kubrick. Unk Rich. Tashin. All right. Let's go ahead and set this one aside for right now. What else do we got in there? Oh, that's nice. I love that it's got like this blood red. So there's the shiny yellow and then there's the shining red as well. Like I said, this first book, the scrapbook, is probably the bulk of the weight. Because it's a 50 pound box. Go ahead and open up the scrapbook, baby ghoul. Beautiful, beautiful bound. Oh man, that's nice. Like that marble look. Oh, 
Oh, would you look at that? So it's just like it says, a scrapbook, but those aren't real newspaper clippings, right? Go ahead and change the page. Killed by elevator. Oh man, this is kind of cool. Sugar Man ends life at Overlook Hotel. Hound's search for novelist and son. Airmail plane disaster and hills behind Overlook. This is insane. Clerk slain in hotel, friend held by police. Oh man, just skipping through this and just reading the newspaper articles is just something else. This one right here says, Mountain Hotel will change hands for a second time in a troubled 10 year span. Now that building right there, that newspaper clip, is the Timberline Lodge, which is in Oregon. We actually went there and did a video. That's where they did a lot of the aerial establishing shots for The Shining. Caretaker acts his wife, twins, in empty hotel, then shoots self. There he is right there. Trail of blood led officers from scene of killings to man lying with gun. Then right beneath that, this newspaper clip says, police find no motives for overlook tragedy right after the newspaper clippings looks like they got some different pictures from production now right of course we're not going to go throughout the whole book but here's some of the miniatures and the set that they built man this is cool look at that crazy to think that we were just there up in yosemite like where they based this hotel off of if you haven't seen that video, the link to that video is in the description of this one. For the purpose of this video, we're just kind of skimming through the book. And I tell you right now, I'm going to spend hours reading through this. Now, what were you saying, Baby Ghoul, about this? When I came to this page, I really thought it was a picture of the Awani. Right? All right, go ahead and flip it. Yeah, that's the Awani Hotel in Yosemite. To the T. The description wasn't kidding. It is filled with all kinds of behind the scenes photos. There's Shelly and Danny and here's Jack Nicholson. Man, that's so much fun. There's a nice shot of Shelly Duvall in the Elstree lot. And I'm loving this book. This is just the first book. Just the photos alone in this book are so worth it. All right, baby goal, as tempting as it is, let's close this giant book and take a look at some of the other things that came in this box. If ever there was a Bible for The Shining, this literally would be it, because I mean, that's a Bible. That is a red Bible. So basically this is the, the making of, like all the production notes, everything that they've captured over the years, like 12 years, like I was saying, into one spot. Mm -hmm. So the making of Stanley Kubrick's The Shining by Rinsler and Unkrich. Now I've heard that, yes, this box is limited to a thousand and it's $1,500 and it is a little rich for people, right? Look at that. I've heard that at one point, probably like a single book version of this will, will come out. And I'm guessing it's probably going to be that. That makes the most sense, right? Because the scrapbook is a little something extra and whatever's in this white box right here. But uh, it's, I mean, this is hours of reading. Talk about going down the shining rabbit hole. And I keep going back into it. Let's take a look here. There we go. Now we're in focus. Oh man, I love it. This is the, the coolest birthday ever. Thank you, baby cool. Of course, you're so welcome. I love you. And now for the white box. This has a few pieces on the inside of it. Again, that embossed box, that's really freaking nice. I'm gonna set that down. So the first thing we come to is copies Facsimile, facsimiles, facsimile? like, facsimiles, I can't say that, of the actual uh, typewriter script that Jack was working on. What does it say? 
All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Right? Oh, man, I love it. I love it. We're not going to open that. It's just all work and no play over and over and over and over and over again because, well, if you saw the movie, you know exactly what we're talking about. What's this? Oh, it's got something on the inside, too. Oh. So this is the manuscript. I think the continuity manuscript. It's a note. A little note. Mm -hmm. The Shining Script Supervisor, June Randall, kept meticulous notes regarding wardrobe and prop continuity, as well as records of Stanley Kubrick's camera setups. And this is that. That's so cool that this is in here. As a filmmaker, as people who make videos, this is cool. This is cool. Go ahead and flip through that. Let's take a look at it. Knowing how famous he was for taking up to 100 takes of just one scene, you would have to be meticulous at your job. Right? Working with him. Just flip to the center here. Oh man, that's cool. That's really cool. Looks like, I think there's three more pieces in here. Yeah. And I am such a sucker for anything embossed. That's just beautiful. But I believe the first two, yeah, are artworks of the logo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's fun. That's fun. We're all about packaging and presentation here, and this is just storyboards. phenomenal. Oh God, that's These are cool. the storyboards. Now, believe it or not, the very last item that's in this box is one of the things that I was really excited about getting. Members of the Shining crew as seen through the crooked eye of, I guess it's Tom Smith. Tom Smith. It's just these crazy art pieces. Go ahead and flip through it. Man, I love it. It's, can you imagine having the originals of these? Like this is all facsimile. I can't say that word. Facsimile. Exactly, you'll say it. <laughs> yeah, hold on, let me get in here. I just, I, I just love this. I love it. Thank you again, baby ghoul, for such a wonderful, shining birthday. And with that being said, happy Halloween. Did, you just, did, did he just say welcome? You're welcome. <laughs> Till next time, happy Halloween. Wherever I come, love, just come my way. Wherever I go, hard love, is that it? Never stays a day A battle's always a-coming my way